continues to grow. A helping hand during playtime, working a puzzle perhaps, allows children to explore, solve problems, and exercise their rapidly developing muscles. Making familiar events like breakfast or lunch happen at regular times each day provides an atmosphere of balance and calm. The hand that reaches for yours is really saying, help me learn. Serving Akron, Canton, Youngstown, and you, we're PBS 45 and 49. Timmy, lights out. Timmy. Reading Rainbow is made possible by Barnes & Noble and BarnesandNoble.com for minds at play. You're watching PBS 45 and 49. Expect the best. After everyone had gone, I sat alone in the dark and tried to make sense out of what the professor had told me. What had he said? He could send a man to the moon. The man was obviously insane. <laughs> oh, man. Did you hear that, Casey? Cracks me up. These old science fiction books are really funny. Sending a man to the moon. Insane. I know. Yesterday it was science Fiction. and today... Hey, fact! Oh, wait. Listen to this. It gets better. I studied the plans closely and was so engrossed in them that I didn't hear the door open, didn't notice the shadow cross my desk until it was too late, and I looked up to see... Yeah! Oh, I'm so sorry. I make you a big scare, no? You are the kid? The big time of private detective, eh? Yeah win some great prizes, like a home computer and a printer. So enter Reading Rainbow's Young Writers and Illustrators Awards Contest today. I'm looking forward to reading your story soon. PBS 45 and 49 are inviting kids in kindergarten through third grade to enter the sixth annual Young Writers and Illustrators Contest. Call us at 1-800-554-4549 to get your entry form, or go online ch4549.org and download your entry form and contest rules. What you doing? Shh. I'm writing a letter to my mom. Hi, Mom. Grandma's taking us to see Jamestown today. What happened there? You know, Pocahontas. Uh -huh. And the Englishmen came here on ships 400 years ago. The English people sailed across the ocean to live here. Why would anybody leave home if they didn't have to? settlers came to Jamestown in three ships, the Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the Discovery. They were sent from England by the Virginia Company to search for silver and gold. 
This is a big ship. I was going to say it looks too small. What do you mean? I mean, a lot of people had to fit in these ships. Timmy, lights out. Timmy. Reading Rainbow is made possible by Barnes & Noble and BarnesandNoble.com for minds at play. Funding also provided by the National Science Foundation, which supports programs that enable children to succeed in science, mathematics, and technology. The Arthur Vining Davis Foundation. And the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Hi there, and welcome back again. Let's have a look what's in our art chest today. Something special, I bet. Ah, uh, yes, look at this now. Piece of paper, plain on both sides, and if I turn it, you can see, probably from the way the light may shine on it, that it's shiny on both sides. It's a special paper that's been prepared for finger painting. Right, let's have a look again. Well, some tempera paint and some Oh, that's a starch, a liquid starch. We'll paint with that. And these two together will make us a finger paint that we can use today. But I want you to also see that there is a prepared finger paint that you can buy. Several companies have it. And the mixture is already done. The temper paint and the, the starch arrangement so that you can paint with this. Now, this is all prepared, so I won't use this today. I want to use the one that is just out of the homemade material because you can do this at home during a recess time. Welcome to News Ohio. I'm Janelle Hall, and we've got a lot of stories that you're going to want to listen to today. Workers at a hospital go on strike. Find out what will happen to all the patients. Then find out what happens when residents lose a recreational center. And is public access television too much freedom for the community? I'll have that story in a little bit. But first, it's your turn to watch, analyze, and participate in the stories we have for you today. Most importantly, it's up to you to take action in your community. Don't go anywhere. News Ohio is here. support workers at a hospital in Youngstown refused to work because they didn't get the contract offers they wanted. And while hospital employees were outside on the picket lines, Reading Rainbow is launching... Expect the best from viewer-supported television, PBS 45 and 49. Hi, I'm astronaut Eileen Collins. 
You may remember me as the first woman to pilot and to be named a space shuttle commander. You know, when I was a child, I dreamed about space. I knew that I'd have to study math and science if I wanted to become an explorer myself. On today's episode of NASA Connect, you will see how NASA engineers and scientists are using math and science to build and test scale models of spacecraft. You will also get to make your own model of a NASA spacecraft using your knowledge of ratios and proportions. So hang on as hosts Van Hughes and Jennifer Pulley connect you to the world of math, science, and technology on this NASA Connect.